Okay. Let me know if you can see my screen. We can see you. Okay. So um, first of all, thank you for for having me, um, and uh, welcome to everyone to uh, to this session. So today we're going to speak about uh, Drupal and Apache Solar uh, in the concept of video Drupal.org. It's a website we made with some friends uh, to help uh, newcomers to learn uh, Drupal. Um, also a big thank you to Canopy uh, for organizing this kind of uh, event. I appreciate that. And uh, this is the third time I'm giving a talk in, in English. So I, I have uh, always been given Drupal talks in French or Spanish. So keep that in mind as we go forward. And please uh, be kind with my English. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> OK, so I think that this kind of um, event, like a Drupal uh, uh, group uh, event, you can ask me a question whenever you need. So you don't have to wait the end of uh, of this session, just ask me the, the question and, and I'm going to try to answer that. Okay, so I would like to, to share with you a true love story, but a love story uh, with the Drupal uh, community. So um, actually the Drupal community uh, changed my life. Uh, if I am what I am today, it's thanks to the community, if I have a decent job is thanks to the community. If I have so many friends, as you can see here, is thanks to the community. And if I travel all around the world, it's also thanks to the community. So in the last uh, 10 years, I've organized uh, more than 100 local meetups here in South America, Bolivia, and also in Belgium but also co-organize uh, Drupal camps, Drupal summits that we have here in South America, uh, Drupal Latino summits. So uh, I co-organize them uh, too. But after, after 10 years, I wanted to give something back uh, to the community because I think that many of you uh, knows that uh, they know that organizing uh, meetups, camps uh, represents a lot of preparation. And that all that preparation for a small, um, for a short ex execution time. So just for a day or three days. So I was looking for something else. Uh, to do for uh, the community. And uh, that's why I created, in fact, uh, videodrupal.org. Uh, and we're going to take this website as an example for, uh, for today. So why did I uh, made this, uh, this website? In fact, um, there are a lot of very good resources are valuable uh, for learning Drupal. But let's try to imagine a newcomer some, or someone who wants to uh, learn Drupal. And if they go to YouTube and just uh, type Drupal, they are going to have so many, so many uh, resources and very good videos, but where do they have to start? That's sometimes, uh, the problem. So my goal was just to make those video more accessible and to push that on one web website and to categorize those uh, those videos. So, but I, I had a problem. So this problem was uh, YouTube and Google because uh, people use those tools uh, quite every day. So when they go to our website, they're going to, to expect the same kind of features. So if you could help me, what kind of um, feature the people is waiting for uh, in a website? Anybody can help me? No? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll pipe in. Um, yeah. 
So when I go out and look for Drupal stuff, um, I, I agree with you. It's like you really, it's very hard to find things in one place. So whenever, whenever I'm looking for anything, um, I like to see it organized, you know, in some manners, manner. And in fact, I have a project that I'm looking to work on using Drupal. And a big part of it is just organizing the content I find online. It's a, it's a big, big deal to me, for sure. Yeah. But what, what kind of feature are the people waiting for uh, as they use Google or YouTube every day? What kind of feature are they waiting for? Any idea? So if I use Google, what kind of feature I, I would like to have on a website of if I visit the website? Google search. Yeah, search, of course. Search is very important for their for the, those kind of user because, okay, they said, if I am going to a website, I would like to have a, a search, but also a very advanced search too, not just a search box. No? Mm -hmm. What kind of other feature they are waiting for? Uh, well, they have like uh, tab, like tabbed uh, breaking out data into the various types, like pictures, news, videos, mm -hmm. etc. Yeah. What's one of the characteristic of Google and YouTube? Oh, well, YouTube is owned by Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's why, that's why they have the same kind of features. Well, in fact, I think that there are three main features. Those sites are very fast. So uh, if we want to give the same kind of experience to our user, we absolutely need a, a fast website. We spoke about advanced search tools, but also I think that people expect uh, precise and relevant content. So if we want to do something uh, for those kind of user, I think we need at least have a fast website, an advanced search uh, process and tools and relevant content and precise. So I call back Houston and I said, oh, how can I do that? And they said, oh, just use Drupal and Solar. And I said, oh, okay, nice, good idea. So one of the way we can give the same kind of experience uh, to our user is uh, with Solar. First of all, we can have performance thanks um, if, you, if we use uh, Solar as a view backend. We are going to speak about that. Uh, of course, we are going to have advanced search. Uh, that's the, mo uh, the most common feature uh, that we use with uh, Apache Solar, but also we are going to have uh, related content. So I think that those kind of features make our client or user happy. Um, in this session, we're going to speak about just how to use Solar as a view backend, and also uh, how to use Solar to uh, create uh, related content blocks. So there are three concepts I would like to speak today, and that's the most important for me. So the first concept is why Solar is so fast, because everybody says, hey, yes, you have to use Solar, but why? Why is it so fast? There is something behind the scene. Um, we're going to, to see how we can use Solar as a backend for our views. And also we are going to see how, um, how Solar find this related content. What's, what's the concept uh, be, behind this? Okay, so um, about me, my name is Karim Bouchema. I come from the French speaking part of Belgium. That's why it's, I have this strange uh, accent. Um, and I live now in Bolivia, South America. Um, I work as a backend Drupal developer. I'm a freelancer. I work for companies in Canada and uh, in the US too, or in France or Belgium. And also I am a Drupal community ambassador. Um, I co-founded, for example, the Drupal community here in, uh, in Bolivia. 
I would like to thank my mentors because mentors, I think, are very important for each one of us. So the first one is Jeff uh, Gerling. In fact, we never met, <laughs> but uh, it's, he has a blog and uh, he produced some videos uh, on YouTube and those kind of, uh, of things helped me a lot. Um, and in particular for Apache Solar, he has some great, great posts about that, how to integrate uh, Apache Solar with Drupal and also uh, video. So thank you, Jeff. And uh, thank you also for, uh, for everything you, you've done for the community. Uh, my second mentor is uh, Joaquin Bravo. Uh, it's a Mexican Drupal developer. And uh, we co-organized, if I remember well, the second Drupal uh, Latino Summit in Guadalajara in 2012, if I remember well. And we also co-organized the Drupal Camp Mexico in 2015. But uh, Joaquin gave me some uh, mentoring session three or four years ago. And uh, those sessions were, uh, were a real gem, really. He put me directly right on the track. And uh, so thank you uh, for helping me. The last uh, mentor I have is uh, Kala Brisno. Kala is the owner of Bixel. Bixel is a Drupal agency in Washington, DC. And uh, when I have a doubt in English, uh, she's always there to, to help me. She translates something or we speak about uh, how to pronounce some, something better and so on. I would like to thank you, Platform Message. Why? Because Platform Message is um, hosting for free uh, video Drupal.org. And really, I just send them a, an email and they accept it uh, immediately. Okay, so uh, a quick survey. Uh, who is using Search API today in the group? We do, I use this stuff. Yeah. And who is using Apache Solar? We do as well. Yeah, <laughs> of course, with Search API, it's a good idea. Yes, and yes. Uh, <laughs> and who is using Apache Solar as a view backend? And yes. Yeah, great. So, okay. So let's have a, a quick tour of, um, of uh, Video Drupal. So uh, Video Drupal, when we, when we go to the, uh, the, the homepage, we find immediately the last, uh, video speaking about uh, Drupal. We see here some video from Media Current. Talking Drupal is a great series too. And this is a new series, the Agile Podcast. They have a lot of, uh, uh, of views. So um, next we can find the playlist because the site is organized uh, like uh, YouTube with channels, a playlist and uh, video. And there we, we can find the latest uh, playlist uh, from the Drupal, from Drupal camps uh, and also from uh, DrupalCon. And um, if we go directly to the playlist video, we can find quite all the video of all the la latest, uh, latest uh, Drupal camp. I think there are more than a hundred uh, Drupal camp uh, there. And we can also find the most watched uh, Drupal video. Why? Because the latest video, it's okay. But if someone wants to say, okay, what's the community speaking, is talking about or speaking about, so they can find this, kind of uh, videos and of, of course we can see uh, during the last six months but also uh, the all-time most watched uh, Drupal video could be could be interesting and I made the same for the channels so what kind of channels have uh, most likes uh, uh, we can order that by subscriber or by uh, by views 
So that's uh, the, the, the home page. And of course, we spoke about uh, the search uh, functionality. So I can, I don't know, search for composer. And uh, you see it's quite, it's quite fast. So if I'm looking for something, I'm going to, I can sort by relevance. Um, but also by most watched or most uh, light. And uh, we also have our, um, our facets. So we can filter that by year. I don't think so by month is very useful, but I, I like that. Uh, we have by tags. So tags are what the user is entering when they publish the video on, uh, on YouTube, but also by channel. So in this case, we were looking for a composer and let's say I can check, oh, the Drupal Association has a lot of videos about the composer. So I can filter by, uh, by channel and also by a playlist and let's say, okay, let's, Let's have a look at how uh, they speak about uh, composer in the last group of in uh, Seattle. So that's quite uh, that's quite normal. Uh, that's what we can find in YouTube and in Google. So it's normal to to have it here. But also, if we go to a video, for example, I think that is Suzanne for from Evolving Web uh, from Mo Montreal. Um, if we go to a video, we also can find the playlist uh, where this video is coming from. So this one, the DrupalCon uh, of last uh, July, I think, if I remember well. And um, we have some information about uh, the video. That's a, this information is coming from uh, YouTube. We can go to the channel, of course. Uh, where we are going to have all the videos from uh, from this channel, but also all the uh, the playlists uh, from this channel. And for me, what's the most important was the uh, related Drupal videos. So Susan is speaking about layout and landing page, and we are going to find other videos speaking about layout and, uh, and landing page. And I think that's the, one of the most interesting feature uh, for, the, uh, for, the end, uh, for the end user. So next, we, we can have all the channels uh, that are in, in the website. And I, we create some, some statistics and some ratio. And this one for me is the most important is the like per video that have a, a channel. So this channel, for example, for every video they, they publish, they have a quite 200 uh, likes. So that's, I think that it's a nice, it's a nice statistic to have and, and just to, uh, to navigate. Then I just create um, an, a learning page and this page is divided in two. The first one is learning in Drupal core, and the second one is some topics I created. So uh, in, the, uh, in the Drupal core uh, part, for example, we can go to learning site building. And first of all, we are going to have uh, some nice playlists. This one from Acquia is very, a very nice playlist to, to learn uh, site building. But also we have some, some very good videos about uh, site building. We, we have the same for teaming and for uh, module development. That's the kind of thing I, I see that we have to promote uh, in all the website uh, uh, that want to, to help the user to learn Drupal because it's so, it's so complicated now. If, uh, if you just type Drupal and you have a lot of, a lot of, uh, of information. So I think that um, making this kind of, uh, of content just to help the, those users is very, very important too. And by topics, for example, uh, to learn Git. So there are a very nice um, playlist here, but also some, some video you can, uh, 
you can watch too. So that's the main um, that's the main um, functionality uh, of uh, of the site. And um, who is behind the video Drupal? In fact, we are just two. <laughs> just uh, this guy on the right and uh, Santiago Rico is uh, a young uh, web designer and it's a very good Drupal uh, teamer. So that's, that's the team. Um, and what's the, the architecture of, uh, of uh, video Drupal? So in fact, the, what, what we do from Drupal, we are going to communicate with the YouTube uh, API and there retrieve all the information we need about the channel, the video, the statistics, uh, and, uh, and so on. So nothing, nothing really fancy here. It's just an API, an external API, and uh, we, we have a, a, a custom module and, uh, with Guzzle, and we, we directly uh, uh, communicate with the API. I didn't use I think there is a module, the feeds module, I think. Uh, I just prefer to communicate directly with the, with the, IP, uh, with the API. And uh, on the other side, we have uh, Apache Solar. In this case, um, this Solar instance, is, it's on, a, on another uh, server. So sometimes it's a good idea to divide um, all our uh, infrastructure in different uh, server. And of course, um, we use uh, a cache engine. In this, in this case, we use a uh, memcache. It could be uh, Redis, uh, no problem. So, but the main idea is that if we wanted to be fast and have advanced search tools and related content, that's, I think, one of the best uh, architecture we can uh, set up. So where do we use solar? In fact, we are going to see that we use solar everywhere. <laughs> so of course we use solar for the search part. I think that everybody is, is doing this that way. So uh, for searching for the facets and for the search results, nothing fancy to here. But uh, I show you how we use solar for the related content when we see a video. So um, this is the more like this uh, component of, uh, of solar. But we, you saw that we have uh, the most watched uh, Drupal video and the, last, the latest video uh, block. And those blocks are uh, made by views, but we use solar as a backend for uh, those views. And it's the same in the in the homepage. All the blocks you can see come uh, from views, but with uh, solar as a, as a backend. I don't think so that there is a view that don't use uh, that doesn't use uh, solar as a backend. So um, I don't know if you have any question at this time. Is that okay? We can go on. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Um, so uh, quickly, what is Apache Solar? I think that everybody uh, knows that it's a full text uh, search uh, server. In fact, we can also index uh, uh, fields like in integer or uh, or string, but the main use is for a full text uh, search. It's based on the Lucene search library, and that's the core. In fact, uh, Apache Solar is like, how can I say that? It's like a wrapper around the Lucene search library. And this wrapper uh, allows us to connect with the, the Lucene uh, library through HTTP. That's what solar is, in fact, just a way to go to Lucene. Of course, uh, Apache Solar give us some extra, uh, but the core is still uh, Apache Lucene. And thank you to Yonik for creating that back in the 2005. 
a lot of companies is using Apache Solar today. And um, I would recommend to search for Solar and Netflix. You are going to find some very nice blog posts and videos on how this company is using Apache Solar to present some content to, to the user, but also to, for the performance they are looking for. Okay, so the first concept is why is solar so fast? And that's, of, of course, there is a lot of technical reason, but the main one is the inverted uh, index. So um, you see here on the, on the left, we have some document because in, in the solar world, we speak about documents. We, you, you can think that those documents are in fact nodes and or it could be also um, fields, but let's say that it's just a node and that we speak, we speak about the body field of uh, our nodes. So when we use solar, we, we are not going to store all the old document. We are going, going to store terms. And um, for example, in the document one, we have the first the first term is the and this term is a stop words because those kind of words uh, doesn't give us so so much meaning about the document because we are going to find those words in each document so it's not important for us so we are not going to index that kind of uh, that kind of words but the second one is bright. So we are going to index the term uh, bright and we're going to index it and say, okay, this term is in the document one at the position two. That's the way we index um, terms in uh, Apache Solar. And for the second, the third term, the third term blue, we are going to index it and said, okay, the term blue is in the document one at the position three. And we're going to do that for every term we can find in every document. For example, blue in the document three, we are going to see that is, that is a document three at the position two. So we are not going to index each document as a document, but what we're going to do it's to index each term of each document. And that's, that is a very, very good idea. Why? Because when I'm going to search for, let's say, blue sky, I'm not going to search uh, sequentially in all the documents. I'm going directly to my inverted index and search for the term blue. And, and there I'm going to say, oh, I have the, uh, the term blue in the document one and then in the document three. And I'm going to uh, search for the term sky. And I, and I see that this, uh, this term is in the document two and in the document three. So if blue is in the document three and sky in the document three, okay, the document three is the best match. So I'm going to have a relevance of a hundred percent. So that's very fast because I don't have to search in every document. And just imagine I have a hundred thousand documents. I don't have to look at, uh, at them uh, individually. I just have to go to my inverted index, search for the term, the term I need. And it's the inverted index that is going to tell me in which document I can find those uh, terms. That's why, in fact, uh, uh, Apache Solar uh, is so fast. Of course, there are other uh, reasons, but one of the main reasons is uh, this one. Any question about the inverted index? It's okay. How, how does uh, that handle? Um... Like relevant, so you say blue sky and in document three, it actually says blue sky. Does that, yeah. so does that actually index it to say that those two are next to each other? Yes. Or does it just index that it has those two, two words? Because- uh, it, It's a query here. 
this kind of query is blue and sky. Uh huh. Okay, so I, I, the first document I'm going to retrieve is are the documents that contain blue and sky, and that would be the the the, okay. the hundred uh, uh, percent relevance. If I just have uh, blue, for example, the relevance is going to uh, going down. Okay, and if you in have fact, a, quote, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more complicated because uh, if I have, for example, the word blue, we are going to see that at the end of this session. But in fact, we are looking for the term frequency in the document too. If I have a, a lot of uh, repetition of the word uh, blue in that document, and but I'm going to also divide that with the document frequency of this term. So if I have a term that is re repeated in all the documents, normally this term doesn't give me a lot of uh, information about the document itself because it, it presents um, uh, in all the documents. So, uh, but we're going to speak about that at the end of uh, this, uh, this session. Is there any other, other question? No? Okay, so let's move on. And now we're going to see how we can use uh, Apache Solar as a backend for uh, our, our views. So this is one of the things that can give us a lot of performance and we're going to see why. So, uh, in a normal Drupal installation, uh, when we render uh, a page, what we are going to do is to go to the database to retrieve this, uh, the information about this node, for example, or all the blocks that I have in this page. And usually I'm going to, uh, to, to give that back to the user, of course, but I'm going to store that in the, in the catch layer. So, Normally, all the Drupal sites uh, work uh, like that. But the problem is, is that if I have a lot of content and uh, if I have a lot of updates, uh, I'm going to invalidate my cache uh, very frequently. So I'm going to have like a cold cache. J just let's take an example with uh, uh, with this side. You see here, we have the latest uh, Drupal videos, that's a block. If I update and I uh, add a new video each 15 minutes, for example, or like in a news website every minute, we are going to uh, invalidate the cache of this block of course, because I have a new content. So we are going to invalidate the, block, uh, the cache of this block. But for the anonymous user, we are going to invalidate all the, uh, the cache of the page. So it's the bubbling. No? In, in, Drupal, in Drupal cache, we speak about bubbling. It means that if I invalidate one of the block of, uh, of the page, I'm going to invalidate also the cache of the, of the page itself. So imagine that we have like in this site, I think we have now, uh, yes, uh, six, quite 7,000 uh, videos. Each page of each video has this block. So every time I'm going to update this block, let's say, each 15 minutes, I'm going to invalidate the cache of those uh, 7,000 pages. So what's, what can we uh, say about that? Is that if I have too many uh, invalidation of my cache, in fact, using memcache doesn't have so, so much advantage for me because I'm going to have a cold cache and my user are going to, to go always to the, to the database. And this database in this architecture is in fact the bottleneck. 
that's the the point where I can have a lot of problems. So one of my one of my way of uh, doing this kind of uh, architecture is to say, just try to never touch the database. That should be our <laughs> our first uh, thought. So and just use the, the database for create, update, and deleting uh, nodes, but not to read because we are going to have uh, we can have some problem with uh, with the cache. Of course, we can have some uh, cache warming strategies, but all this this has some. It's interesting if I don't have so many updates, so I can warm my cache. Let's say every thirty minutes. So I'm going to crawl all the site and to uh, create some new cache for every page I want, but. If I don't, I have too many updates. It's not a good strategy too, and that's where uh, Apache Solars comes into play. So, if we could understand that, I could use my databases because I, I have a lot of databases and huge website just for the queued operation, and uh, and using Apache Solar just for the read operation, like views, search, or in this case, more like this, we are going to have a huge win for our the performance uh, of the site. So, in the, in that case, we are going to divide the operation, the the smallest and the not so frequent operation. We can do that with our database. There's no problem for that, but. If we the the most common operation, the read operation, just to build the the site and to present the information to the user, it's better to do that directly from uh, Apache Solar. So we can divide our site. Remember that when we query Apache Solar, we can cache that to through views, for example, or in the search to. So there is not so many problems. The only uh, objective there, uh, there is that uh, we are going to decrease the number of requests to the database. Is that, is that clear for, for everyone? Any question? Or I, I speak so bad English that nobody understood. <laughs> no, you're fine. Uh, I ha I don't have any questions. You're a pretty okay. good explanation. Yeah, thank you. So good. <laughs> okay. So let's move on. So let's have a quick tour about uh, Search API. And Search API, just think that Search API is an interface between views and a search packet. What, what Search API is going to do is just to retrieve our, the query from our view. So when we, we create a view, in fact, it's a query. And uh, Search API is going to pre-process this query. Mm -hmm. I spoke about stop words. I spoke, I, I don't think I spoke about stemming, but it's the way you, um, you minimize your word to the stem of this word. So, for example, if I speak about politicians, uh, we are going to stem this word to politic. Uh, if, I, if I use the word he had, we are going to stem that to uh, the, the verb have. So that's a way we can pre-process that. I wouldn't recommend to do this pre-processing at the search API level. Because if we use Solar, Solar is doing that better than Search API. But if we use a, a database, for example, as a search backend, of course, that Search API, we can make a lot of pre-process there. And we are going to pre-process this query and send that query to the search backend. In our case, we are going to do that with Solar. But, uh, I think that in Drupal.org, they're still using the database as a search backend. And, and we can use also Elasticsearch as a, as a search backend. So you see that uh, Search API is there 
as a, as an interface. So mm -hmm. in in that view, I'm going to expose a filter, okay, and based on this filter, I'm going to generate a query and query uh, the, the uh, solar and solar is going to give back the result through search api and then we are going to have this result in uh, as a view uh, result so just remember that search api it's just an interface between our views and uh, a search backend so is just search api is just an interface if I create a simple view like this one, this is a simple view. It's just uh, the last uh, video we post on the, on the site. There is no exposed uh, search uh, field. No, it's just our field, our filters, and our sort, but there is no exposed uh, uh, field. See. So it's, it's, a use, uh, it's a normal view. And I can do, I can have the result through a solar. So I, I don't have to, to go to the lab database. I can say, no, I'm going to build a view that is going to solar to retrieve some result and to show that uh, to the user. So the main idea here is that I don't have to use Apache solar only for search. I can use it as a view backend for every kind of view. The only thing I have to do that is to index all the um, all the field uh, I would need for this view. That's not mandatory, but that's better for a performance point of view. So remember, I can use Apache Solar as a view backend, even if I don't have a search field or an exposed uh, search field. So, in fact, I can, for every view I'm going to build, I can use Apache uh, Solar as a backend for, uh, for this view. And of course, this is going to give us, uh, like I said before, we are going to divide uh, our traffic to our backends between the database and for the database, we said, okay, we are going to use our database just to create, to update, and to delete content. And the, all the read operation, we are going to do that with Apache Solar. Remember that uh, we are going to index uh, the data from the database. So we're not going to, to take the data from other parts. You can do that. You can do... Uh, you can add here data from other sources, for example, like PDF or that's a, that's that's quite interesting, but that's not the <laughs> that's not what we're speaking uh, today. So we can use our views to in instead of going to our database and to put that in our cache, we are going to uh, Apache Solar and then to put it in our cache. Every time where we can decrease the number of requests to our database, it's a performance win. We are going to have a fast website. So let's have a, a, quick, uh, a quick demo because I, I was speaking a lot. So this is, our, uh, lo is my local uh, de development. And so I'm going to create a view. No. Before doing that, I would like to share with you how I indexed the, uh, the fields in, uh, in this site. So to, to go to, um, to the information about solar, we go to search API because it's the interface. And there we have two kinds of information. The server we are going to use um that's the server where solar is and the index we can have a lot of index with uh, the same kind of, uh, of, of server and there in the index we are going to define some fields so those fields are going to be indexed in solar and you see here 
I index the title, the channel, the video definition, the description, the video duration, and so on and so on. Not so much, but a lot of fields that come from the nodes, I'm going to index that into uh, solar. So when I'm going to use those fields in my view, I'm going to retrieve that directly from solar. I don't have to go to the database to see how is the NTV and then going back to solar. No, I can go directly to solar if I, I have defined and indexed those uh, fields uh, to solar. So uh, to create a view based on solar, the only thing I'm going to do, let's say, uh, well, when I, I do a test, I do it like that. Test and this is um, a solar view. Okay, and here is the most important part. That's here when I'm going to uh, choose the source or uh, the source or the backend for my view. And you see here, I have index video. If I go back to my search API, you see that the index is the videos. So here I can use the index D videos. So I'm, I'm saying that there, that I'm using solar as a backend. That's the only thing we have to do. It's so easy, it's like that. So in that, I'm going to create a page. And yes, I can, I, we can have an infinite list, save and edits. And now, I can uh, add some uh, some fields. So let's get rid of this one. I can remove that. And let's say I would like a view with the title. So like always, I'm going to look for this field. And you see here, I have two title fields. One is title, the normal one. And the other one is the indexed field. This field is the one that comes from solar. So I'm going to use this one because if I'm using this one, I'm going to the database. If I use this one, I'm going to uh, solar to retrieve it. So I can add it. In there, please remember that I'm not using the rendering from the entity because if I'm using that, I'm going back to the database to retrieve the information about this, uh, this, ent uh, this entity, in this case, this node. So I'm not uh, going to use uh, this information. I can add a link to, to my title and that's it. So you see here, we have the title of our uh, videos. I can, of course, add, um, um, a filter. In this case, what I'm going to like we always do every day. I think we do that. So I'm going to say, okay, it's a it's a type of uh, of uh, video. And you see here that the query that I, we spoke about it's going to the index the uh, video, and that's how Search API is going to uh, create this, uh, this query. I can sort, um, let's add another field and uh, let's add um, the, I think it was the image. I don't remember. No, I think it was the thumb. Yes, I think it was the thumbnail. So you see the difference, now you, you can remember that if we have index field, is that this will come from solar. So I'm going to use that. I'm not going to use <laughs> the entity rendering and just applying that. And that is the URL of uh, the thumbnail. So I can like in every view, rewrite the result of uh, of this uh, of these fields and let's say we are going to image source and what was the yes I can use the token for that
as a source and I can say with 100 pixel if I remember well. Uh, I have something perhaps without pixel. Oops. I don't remember what was the correct uh, width. Mm, 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 mm. Well, let's. Okay. I think it's, that is correct. Perhaps I can use the row value, but I don't think it's a huge difference. Anybody has an idea? Maybe um, try to navigate to the URL that it was being output before and see if the. No, the I, think, actually I think they are, they are correct. Let's uh, go to, I'm going to save this view. Sorry for that. Uh, I'm going to go to another view and to see how we build it. Uh, it's just a, uh, so where is the thumbnail here? And how, okay, let's, let's copy that. <laughs> let's go back here. What was the difference? Mm, I think it's what it was to say. I think it was the quotes. I think it's, yeah, it's perhaps I think, there. I think, you were, I think you were missing the quotes before. Before the token? Uh, no, on the on the width on the pixels. Oh yeah, okay. But let's use that. <laughs> okay, we have our. Okay, so um, you see, I'm I'm going to to create just a view, and I'm going just to query solar instead of uh, of the database. I can add a, a source criteria, and I think it was published. That's the day the video was publishing. And there I have the latest, the latest, excuse me, the latest video uh, uh, on this on this website. So the main idea is just to create a view. And at the beginning, when I'm going to create the view, I'm going to choose the backend. And in that case, we, we choose uh, the index of uh, our Apache uh, solder. Is there any question about that? Quite easy, no? It's not so complicated to do to make a view with a, a, a search uh, backend. Okay, so let's move on. So we spoke about how to use solar as a view backend. And now let's, let's say how we can use solar in Drupal to create a related content block. So um, the, the more like this search component of solar, uh, let's us query for similar documents to our uh, current document. So if I have a document, in, the, in that case, a video, I can query solar to have other document related to this one. And in fact, in the vector space model world, we speak about similarity. So I think that it's an important concept. What is similarity? So the similarity is, um, it's the way we are going to compare in the vector space model, the document between them. And to do that, we're going to represent our document as a vector. So let's say that 
all my documents, all my notes, let's, let's speak the, as, uh, in the Drupal world, all my notes uh, have only two words in each note. We always use, let's say, Canada and Belgium. So in the body of my notes, in the title of my note, I just use two words and uh, Canada and uh, Belgium. So to represent a node in a two space model, a two term space model, excuse me, what I can say is that, okay, what the frequency of the world Belgium in this node and the frequency, let's say it's two. And the frequency of the word of the term Canada is four. So in a two space model, I can represent this node as a vector. And I can re represent another node. And in this case, we have four times Belgium in this uh, node and just one time uh, Canada. So that's, it's very a simple ex explanation, but that's the way we represent documents in, uh, in the space model. Of course, we are going to have a N space. So we are going to have N accesses, but Let's keep move on with this simple example with two term space. And when, I, when I'm going to query a solar with my current document, and uh, in fact, I can represent my own and my current document also as a vector. So let's say that my current document has two time Belgium, okay and has three times Canada. So I can represent that. So now it's clear. How can I compare the document between them? It's very easy. And the similarity is when our document are going to be closed. So we can say just now that the, the document one is more similar than the document two because in the space, they are closer. But we're going to do that in a more sophisticated way uh, in the, uh, in with solar. And in fact, what we're going to do is to analyze the, the angle that those vectors are, are making between them. So is this angle is smaller, we are going to have more similarity that for this one. And the way to, measure uh, angles is the cosine. So if the cosine is uh, larger, the document are going to be more similar. And that's what solar is going to do. Solar is going to uh, take our uh, document, the current document we have, and is going to, uh, to calculate all the cosine with all the other document we have in this collection. So imagine that we have two, uh, uh, 200,000 documents with uh, uh, 1,500 different terms. That's quite normal. So we are going to uh, calculate the cosine between our current document and all the document in the, in the collection. And Solar is doing that very, very fast. Just imagine we have to do that with an algorithm in Drupal, it would be impossible to do, to do that. So uh, to do that, what we need is um, to use some uh, full text uh, fields. We can use both the normal full text and the instant uh, full text just to remember that because what we need is to, to create a vector space uh, model of the document. So in, that's why when we index our, uh, our document, it's very important to uh, for the um, fields that we are going to use to calculate the similarity for those fields, it's important to choose the full text. So in that case, to find the similarity between, um, uh, between documents, 
what we are going to use is the title and the description. So this is going to form our document, if uh, we can speak like that. And that's the kind of information that we are going to display in the vector space uh, mobile. So we can do that too. Why? So I'm going to create now uh, a view, a block in fact, uh, for the related uh, content. So let's say Kareem test related content. And what do you think I'm going to choose here? Any idea? Hello. Index the videos. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's always that. If you want to go to solar, I'm going there and I'm going to create a block, okay? And what I want in this block are title. So I'm going to add this field. And which one I'm going to choose? The index one, yes? Because that's the one we have in Apache Solar. So I add it. I know that I don't want to render it using the entity information. Okay, I can add a filter. It would be the type like we do every day. And I want videos. Okay. And now, is that okay? Yes, I can sort that too, but we're going to see how. And now I'm going to add a contextual filter and this filter would, would be the more like this component. So if I go to category and in the search, of course, when we use the, the exposed uh, search filter, we use a full text search, but in this case, we're just going to use more like this. So I'm going to add it. And I'm going to provide a default value like we always do and with the ID of the current node. So when I'm going to query solar, I'm going to use the ID of the current node to check for the similar nodes I can, I can uh, find. And that's here that I'm going to use the field for the similarity. What I said at the beginning is that I'm going to use the title and let's say the description. And that's why we need to index those fields at the beginning. So I'm going to make apply and that's, that's quite it. Um, I'm going to uh, take a content just to have uh, the idea. Let's say, yes, this kind of one. So, the node ID is this one, and now remember, no, when we have a, a contextual filter, we need to, to add the ID here. And, and now I can have all the related content of this, um, of this video. So this video was speaking about, oh yes, it was layout and uh, landing page. Okay, creating layout, creating layout, layout, landing page layout. I think it's, it's working. Um, what I can do is to sort them by relevance. So it's better to have the, the um, document that has the highest uh, relevance. And just to be sure, I'm going to add this one. And I'm going to add the relevance to here so we can see that. Okay, so well, they have quite all this, the same kind of relevance. I think it's because it's the same. Yes, the, tit the title is the same, but that's why they have the same relevance. Okay, so I can place now this block on every uh, video note page that I need and I'm going to have immediately the uh, related content block for uh, this node. Uh, any question about that? 
Did I speak too, too fast? You're speaking at a good pace. Yeah, okay. I just have to watch the video again, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, no problem, it's, it's recorded. So you, you see that, you saw that we can create the related content block very quickly and easy. We don't have to call our DevOps engineering teams and to create a special custom block and uh, uh, with a special uh, block uh, plugin, no, it's just a question of site building. It's not, a, and that's that's why I love Drupal because sometimes there are so complex operation to perform, and with two or three click we can uh, we can do that. So that's why uh, Drupal is so beautiful for me. So let's. Uh, Let's resume uh, and have a brief of what we saw to, uh, today. So today we saw how to use uh, Solar with uh, Drupal. We saw how we can use Solar as a view backend. And the purpose of that, it was to have a high performance because when we don't touch the database for the read operation and we can uh, go to another backend, we, it's a huge win. Our, our website is going to be very, very, very fast because we divide the request to the database and to another backend. And in this case, it's Apache Solar. And for, uh, for the related content, we are using also uh, Solar and we were using uh, the more like this component search. And we saw that it was very, very easy to, to set up. And that's how we, we made video Drupal with uh, Solar. So thank you very much uh, uh, for, for your, uh, to, be, to be there. And if you have any question, I would be glad to, to answer that. Um, Go ahead. Oh, so I was just gonna ask, so all the setting up of the Solar server and getting it to index is just done through the search API interface. Yes, yeah. yes absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's why we need search API. So mm -hmm. search API is the interface between Solar and the Drupal installation. So in, in Drupal 7, I've done some Solar stuff and I've got a couple of projects coming up in E8. Um, one of the limitations that we found uh, in D7 was that you had to do different indexes for different things. So you had yeah. your content indexed and you had your taxonomy indexed in another place. And you had your media items like a video indexed in another place. We ended up having to do some custom programming around plugins to be able to pull all those together is that changed in d8 no you don't have any yes of course you, you can do your 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 own uh, plugins of course you can do that but now for the examples i gave you today you don't need any plugin it's just side building but you only had one index yes absolutely so if you had multiple indexes can you add a view in and look at multiple Remember. indexes at the same time yes yes of course remember when we add a new view here in the view setting you can choose your index so if you have two or three index i do the same sometimes i have an index based on the database and an index based on the solar instance so you can choose it here you don't need to to write um, a view plugin for that. Okay, so you still have to do a view plugin to be able to tie multiple indexes together. No. Like if you are going to uh, do your filtering with uh, with things that are indexed in multiple indexes. No, you don't. You don't need it because you are going to. If you want to choose your view, uh -huh. like this, like I show you here, you are, you are going to have all the index you have. So you don't need to write this plugin now. So you can you can select multiple items here. 
Uh, no, no, no. If, if, if you want to build a view based on two or three indexes, yeah. you, you, you would need to, to write your, your own plugin. I'm sorry. I okay. Didn't all right. All right. Question. I just wanted to make sure I, I understood that because that, that can throw people, I think, a lot of times. Yeah. Well, I, I think that using multiple index, uh, it's quite a strange uh, example, but we use that. We use several index with several information from external sources. But if you the source is from Drupal, I think that you can just use one. Uh, one index uh, to create your view. Yeah, the, and like you said, the the big idea here is that you can use your search API and your and your indexes in just a regular view, whether or not it's a search view or not. Exactly. I, I guess I I I'd never dawned on me before tonight. So that's awesome. Yes, you have you absolutely have to try that. You absolutely have. So remember, I have a yes. Um, Go ahead. I was wondering. You you mentioned configuring, uh, doing all configuration in in this uh, via web UI. Could you show uh, like what 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 the, that configuration looks like for Drupal eight? The configuration of what of for uh, search API, yeah, of Apache Solar. Because I'm not. It's, it's, yeah, it's very easy. So you go to search in, in metadata, search mm -hmm. API. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, you're going to configure first the server. So mm -hmm. in that case, it's a local one. You can mm -hmm. see here. So the solar host is my local server. Mm -hmm. And the, the port is always the same uh, for solar, it's always. Uh, uh, AD 983, mm -hmm. it's always uh, that. And you are going to point to your uh, solar core. Um, mm -hmm. By default, when you use uh, Search API and solar, they use D8 as a, as a default, but you can change that. So mm -hmm. no problem for that. Um, I think that for you, th those, um, those configuration is by default, no problem for mm -hmm. that. And perhaps this one, it's where someone uh, can have some problem. So uh, here you are going to use the same installation uh, directory. Uh, there is a, right, a very good documentation uh, on uh, drupal.org, but just leave it like that. And in the advanced, you, you, you can keep that by uh, default. And mm -hmm. this one mm -hmm. is, is quite important uh, because you, you are going to retrieve the result just for this, uh, this site. Is that when we have a multi-site uh, installation. So you see that it's very easy. There is nothing special to, to do. Uh, on the server side. Mm -hmm. uh, remember that um, you have your schema and if you, you wanted to do some changes for Drup video Drupal, I didn't make any change in the schema, mm -hmm. but you can do some changes if you need, for example, um, uh, a porter stemming that is not in English, for example, for mm -hmm. Spanish or for mm -hmm. French, it's here that you are going to do that. And usually I prefer to put my stop words in solar and not in search uh, and not in search API. Okay. So that's the only, the other configuration that is most important is the index. Mm -hmm. So let's see that with you. In that case, I just index the content, nothing about files, taxonomy, mm -hmm. and so on. So that's uh, because I just wanted to focus on the content, and I always recommend to do to do that. And in the uh, content configuration, we are going to accept all the entities, article, and so on. 
So mm -hmm. the same for uh, languages. Mm -hmm. And for the server of this index, we are going to point to our solar server. Mm -hmm. One other thing I love to do is to index immediately. I know that there are a lot of, I don't know, we speak, a lot of people say, no, you don't have to index immediately. It's better to wait on a Chrome uh, basis. Um, it, it depends on the, on the strategy you have. But if you want your content directly uh, uh, available to your views, uh, mm -hmm. It's better to index them immediately. In that case, what was the case? Remember, we are going to add a new article or a new video each uh, 15 minutes. So we can index that uh, immediately. The mm -hmm. only uh, negative points there, if we have some batch uh, updates. So if we are going to update, I don't know, 2000 video with a batch uh, just at once. This could be, uh, we can have some problem, but uh, well, what we can do that is just to disallow the index uh, okay. on, on, this, uh, on, on this index. And um, for the field, I show you that you can index all the field that you are going to need in your views. So if you have a okay. view, and you know that this view is going to need the title and the description. You are going to add those fields here and you are going to uh, add it into the index. And um, you, you're going to choose uh, as much as you can or the suggester, we can speak about that in another, it's very interesting, but it's, you can use the full text as much as you can. Mm -hmm. And if you cannot, you can use strings. The only problem is that you can have weight on strings. Mm -hmm. You can only have nice. weights on full text. So in that case, you yeah. see that we have more weight, for example, on the title of uh, the playlist. I this think will that's work for paragraph. Sorry. This will work for paragraph. Yes, of course. So just, just checking. Yeah. Thank you. you Thank you. you. That you, was very, very informative. Thank, thanks a lot. No, you're welcome. That's a, that's the Drupal community. Thanks. You're welcome. Is there any other question? I would like to go back to my screen, and I cannot. I don't know why. <laughs> any so, other question? Yeah. So right now, your uh, your site for the videos, the video Drupal. Yeah. Use Drupal. Uh, you only use YouTube. Have you looked at other data sources or other APIs yeah. and, and those in as well? Yes, but we are on the beta one zero. <laughs> so, yeah, I I need, it. <laughs> <laughs> so I need I need time. Well, my first my first goal now is to improve uh, the tagging. So I don't know if I'm going to use an auto tagging. You remember. How was this auto tagging? It was, I think, um, by Ruder. Um, I don't remember. But uh, there, there are services that can auto tag your uh, content. So I don't know if I'm going to use this kind of services or if I'm going to open that to the community so everyone can tag. Uh, all uh, all the videos because you saw that the tag they are using well in this case it's not so so bad uh, but sometimes you see here the tag for this video about uh, Parton Lab is Drupal Drupal GovCon Drupal GovCon so it's nothing to to do and it's not related with Parton Lab so yeah. I we, we we need to to improve that and. That's my uh, that's my first uh, my first goal, and uh, yes, we have Vimeo, other other uh, video providers, uh, but I'm not sure if it could be a huge win to 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 merge them. But if I have time or someone wants to help me, so your well, your uh, your API with YouTube, do you grab? Is there? I think because I think there is a transcript field there 
um, not or... yet not yet in the api oh is that w- right okay no, not yet but i find a way to capture the transcription uh, from uh, youtube but it's with a javascript call uh, uh-huh. that you can do directly to the video when you you show that so now oh, it's a little bit tricky yeah. uh, but this is gonna help a lot my only concern is that when we are going to have a video of one hour i would like to see how this transcript would be and how to store that i don't know if i'm going to store that directly in the drupal database perhaps to store that in an other database just for the transcript uh, and uh, to relate that with an id or something like that and then index that into uh, solar so perhaps here we are going to have uh, in the next month another server just for the transcript interesting very cool all right very cool okay so th- thank you so much. If you have any other question, you can find me on Twitter.